वेलकम टू द सपना होम स्कूलिंग चैनल मित्रों आज अपन साइन्स का टेन स्टैंडर्ड साइन्स एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पार्ट टू का फर्स्ट चैप्टर हेरिडिटी एंड इवोल्यूशन की एक्सरसाइज अपन चेक करना आहो तो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन का कंप्लीट द फॉलोइंग डायग्राम ओके सो एविडेंस ऑफ एवल्यूशन से दोन पॉइंट दिल दोन आप लिया तो एन्सर है वेस्टिजियल ऑर्गन्स एंड सिमिलरिटीज इन इनिशियल स्टेजेस ऑफ एम्ब्रॉनिक डेवलपमेंट क्वेश्चन टू रीड द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स एंड जस्टिफाई सेम इन युअर ओन वर्ड्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ सुटेबल एग्जाम्पल्स ह्यूमन एवोल्यूशन बिगैन एप्रॉक्सिमेटली सेवन करोर इयर्स अगो द एन्सर इज एप्रॉक्सिमेटली सेवन करोर इयर्स अगो बैक द आई सेज बिगैन ऑन द अर्थ इन सच कंडीशन डायनासोर्स बिकम एक्सटीन द एवोल्यूशन एंड डायवर्सिटी ऑफ मैमल्स स्टार्टेड ड्यूरिंग दिस टाइम ड्यू टू चेंज इन क्लाइमेट The forest cover also declined rapidly. Ancestors of monkey-like animals were lemur-like animals, which evolved during this time period. The tails of these monkey-like monkey-like creatures started vanishing very gradually. Around four crore years ago, the body and brain both increased in the volume, forming first ape-like animals. The monkey-like ancestors gave rise to two evolutionary links to apes and human-like animals. Later, the human evolution took place by change changes in the brain volume, the ability to walk upright, excessive use of hand for manipulations. The journey of human evolution began seven crore years ago, but the two wise and intelligent man arose around fifty thousand years ago. geographical and reproductive isolation of organisms gradually leads to speciation answer every species survives in specific geographical conditions the requirements of food and habitat is specific for each species their reproductive ability and period is also different therefore the individuals from one species cannot reproduce with individuals from the other species when they are separated by distance or geographical barriers they are said to be isolated geographically when they cannot reproduce with each other they are said to be isolated reproduct reproductively the ancestor species of both these sub subspecies may be the same but due to isolation over a very long time duration there is genetic variation between the two therefore the isolation leads to specification study of fossils is an important aspect of study of evolution one fossils offers placentological evidence for the evolutionary processes due to some natural cal calamities the organisms get buried during ancient times the impressions and remnants of such organisms remain preserved underground the hot lava also traps some organisms or their impressions all such form formations form fossils study of fossils help the researchers to understand the characteristics of the organisms that extincted in the past carbon dating method also helps in finding out exact age of the fossil according to the structure of earth's crust the fossils are obtained at specific depths the oldest ones are obtained at the depth while the relatively recent ones occupy the upper surface the fo thus fossils of invertebrates were seen in a very old plesiozoic area later were seen fossils of species amphibia and reptilia the Mesozoic era was dominated by reptiles while Cenozoic Cenozoic era showed presence of mammals in this way study of fossils unfold the evolutionary secrets there is evidence of fatal science among chordates one very young embryos of fish amphibians reptiles birds and mammals show quite similar structure in the early stages as the further growth takes place they acquire different patterns 
the initial similarity similarities between the vertebrate embryos is an evidence that during evolution there was a common ancestor for all the vertebrate classes this is called embryological evidence for vertebrate evolution question 3 complete the statements by choosing correct option from the bracket gene mutation translocation transcription gradual development and appendix the casualty behind the sudden change changes was understood due to mutation principle of hugo de varis the proof for the fact that protein synthesis occurs through gene was given by george bedel and edward tatum transfer of information from molecules of dna to rna is called a transcription process evolution means gradual development vestigial organs appendix present in human body is proof of evolution write short notes based upon the information known to you lamarckism gave the principle of use or disuse of organs he proposed that the reason behind the evolution was the changes in the morphological activities of the organism for example giraffe has a long neck because it used to browse browse the on leaves of a tall plant by extending their neck for several generations shoulders of iron smith are strong due to the repetitive hammering movements wings of ostrich and emu are weak because they are not used for flying legs of birds and swan are used for swimming because they live in a water these characteristics are determined as acquired characteristics which are transferred from one generation to other darwin's theory of natural selection darwin's theory of natural selection darwin is famous for the theory which he published in the book title origin of species in this book he explained the theory of natural selection which talks about the survival of the fittest he stated that there is a continuous competition between organisms for survival and the strongest of all survives okay the chances of survival are higher for organisms which show modification which will help them to survive he also said that nature nature also plays an important role in the selection of the fittest nature selects only those organisms which are capable of adapting to the changing situations while the rest which are incapable to do so perish away the organisms which are selected by the nature then reproduce and give rise to new species which have their own characteristics embryology embryology is the study of the formation of development of embryo and fetus embryology is used as one of the evidences of evolution comparative study of embryos in vertebrates shows that there is lot of similarities in them at the initial stages whereas this similarity decreases gradually this similarity in the development of embryos represents common origin of organisms evolution evolution refers to the gradual change which occurs in the, an organisms over a long duration of time it is a slow going process which results in the development of the organism life originated on earth about 3.5 billion years ago it is believed that there might have been presence of simple elements on earth which may have given rise to simple organic and inorganic molecules from these simple molecules complex molecules like proteins dna etc may have been formed other evolutionary changes may have resulted in the formation of simple cells and the result of con the continuous evolution on earth earth is several is the several species of plants and animals which exist on the earth today the diversity on earth varies from unicellular am amoeba to a human being and 
from a unicellular algae like chlorella to huge banyan tree connection link connection link refers to plants and organisms which shows characteristics related to to different groups for example perpetuous is peripetus is considered a connecting link between annelida and arthro arthropoda arthropoda it has characteristics like segmented body thin cuticle and parapodia like organs which are similar to annelida it also shows tracheal respiration and open circulatory system which is similar to arthropods another example is duck bill platypus which is connecting link between reptiles and mammals as it lays egg like reptiles and has mammary glands mammary glands like mammals question 5 define heredity explain the mechanisms of heredity changes answer heredity refers to passing of traits from parents to offsprings either through asexual or sexual reproduction greor jonan mandel 1822 to 1884 was the first to carry out the study on the transmission of characteristics from a, from the parents to the offspring he proposed that heredity is controlled by factors which are now believed to be segments of chromosomes or genes these traits are passed on the on in the form of genetic information from parents to offspring this genetic information is stored in the molecules called dna during the process of reproduction the child receives genetic information from both the parents in the form of dna 50% genetic information is passed on from the parental paternal dna whereas rest 50% information is passed by the maternal dna this is why child is closely resembles its parents and has traits similar to both of them commonly observed heritable features are curly hair a particular type of ear lobe hair on ears etc question 6 define vestigial vestigial organs write names of some vestigial organs in human body and write the names of those animals who in whose whom same organs are functional the vestigial organs is a term used for organs which are degenerated underdeveloped or useless for an organism usually with the changes in the outer environment the organs undergo a gradual change in order to cope up with the with those changes presence of vestigial organs in an indication that they were useful for our ancestors but as we evolved with the changing surroundings these structures lost their functionality uh, but our still found in our bodies it is not compulsory that if an organism is vestigial for humans so will it be for other organisms too question 7 answer the following questions how are the hereditary changes responsible for evolution heredity is the passing of traits from parents to offspring these traits which are passed from one generation to another are called inherited traits as they are inherited from the previous generation evolution refers to the changes which occurs in these inheritable traits over a long period of time these changes allow organisms to survive with the changing environment and provide an advantage over other species who cannot survive in that environment changes in these inheritable characters provide better chance chances of survival and reproduction and thus result in the evolution of species explain the process of formation of complex proteins answer the proteins are synthesized in the following steps with transcription translation and transclo- translocation protein synthesis takes place according to the sequence of nucleotides present on the dna molecule 
with the help of RNA molecules. This is known as the central dogma of protein synthesis. Translation Each mRNA may carry thousands of condoms, but each condom is specific for only one ammonia acid. The tRNA molecules brings the required amino acid as per the code present on mRNA. There is anti-code on each tRNA which is complementary to the condom on mRNA. This process is known as translation. Translocation the, In the translocation, the ribosome keeps on moving from one end of mRNA mo molecules to the other end of distance of one triplet condon. While this process is taking place, rRNA helps in rejoining the amino acids together by peptide bonds. The peptide chains later come together to form complex protein molecules. Explain the theory of evolution and mention the proof supporting it. Answer Theory of evolution According to the theory of evolution, first living material was in the form of protoplasm which was formed in ocean. Gradually it gave rise to unicellular organisms. Changes took place in these unicellular organisms which made them evolve into large and more complex organisms. All evolutionary changes were very slow and gradual, taking about 300 crore years to happen. Different types of organisms were developed as the changes and development that occurred in living organisms left all around and multidimensional. Hence, these overall processes of evolution is called organizational and progressive. Variety of plants and animals developed from the ancestors having different structural and functional organizations during the process of evolution. Proof here means evidence of evolution. These evidences are as follows. Morphological evidences, anatomical evidences, vestigial organs, placentological evidences, connecting links and embryological evidences. Explain the suitable examples importance of Anatomical evidences in evolution. Anatomical evidences help us to study how species have evolved over a period of time. Analogous structure support the theory of evolution and explain the fact that how species build up adaptations in order to fit in an environment. Whereas humologous structure help us to understand common ancestry. For example, if we compare the hands of humans with the cat's four legs, flippers of whale, of whale with patagium of bat, we see that each of these organisms use these structures are differently, but still there is similarity between the structure of bones and joints, which indicates that somewhere or the other, these animals may have originated from common ancestors. This is an example of homology. Another example which explains analogous features is the arctic fox and the patermigan bird. Both of them change color, colors from dark brown to white during a seasonal changes. These they do not show common ancestors in way but since they were found they are found in the same habitat they are adapted to color change. Define fossils. Explain importance of fossils as proof of evolution. Fossils offer placentological evidences for the evolutionary processes. Due to some natural calamities, the organisms get buried during ancient times. The impressions and remnants of such organisms remain preserved underground the hot lava also traps some organisms or their impressions such as all such informations from fossils. Study of fossils help the researchers to understand the characteristics of organisms that existed in the past. Carbon dating method also helps in finding out exact age of the fossil according to the structure of earth's crust. The fossils are obtained at specific depths. 
in this way study of fossils unfold unfold the evolutionary secrets the oldest ones are obtained at the depth while the relatively recent ones occupy the upper surfaces thus fossils of invertebrates were seen in very old paleozoic area era later were seen fossils of species amphibia and reptilia the mosozoic era was dominated by reptiles while cenozoic era showed presence of mammals write the evolutionary history of modern man ancestors of humans developed from animals which resembles lemur like animals okay lemur around 7 crore years ago monkey like animals evolved from some of these lemurs like animals then after about 4 crore years ago in africa the tails of this monkey monkey like creatures were gradu- very gradually disappeared simultaneously there was enlargement in their body and brain volume 2 the hands also improved and were provided with the opposable thumb in this way ape like animals were evolved these ape like animals independently independently gave rise to two lines of evolution one giving rise to the apes like gibbon and the orangutan in the south and north east asia and gorilla and chimpanzee which stayed in africa around 2.5 crore years ago the other line of evolution gave rise to human like animals around 2 crore years ago the climate become dry and this resulted into reduction of forest cover this made abno uh, arboreal apes to descend on the land and start terrestrial mode mode due to this there were changes in the pelvic girdle pelvic girdle okay p e l v i c pelvic girdle and vertebral column the hands were also freed from locomotion and thus they became more manipulative later journey of hominoid species started from around 2 crore years ago the first record of human like animals is ramapithecus ape from east africa ramapithecus australopithecus neanderthal man cromagnon are the important steps in human evolution Neanderthal man was said to be the first wise man the increasing growth of brain made man more and more intelligent and thinking animal later more than biological evolution it was cultural evolution when man started agriculture animal rearing there was development of civilization arts and science etc but 200 years ago there were industrial inventions and the man now rules the earth thank you very much friends the video avad asel to like kara ani ashes video pahije asel to aple channel la subscribe kara manje tumhala vele varti video pahata yetil ani tumhala konta video hava ite mala comment madhe kalva manje lokarat lokar to video mi tumhala denacha prayatna karen dhanyawad